what's going on so we got a little tripod stand today a handheld one a selfie stick we're going to be talking about <clears throat> nothing is written in stone and the subtopics of this video are going to be two things basically they're going to draw back to nothing's written in stone <clears throat> and what i mean by this i'll get this right out of the way is nothing is for certain and it's not written in stone <laughs> so as, now i'm going to break this down we're going to talk about two sub genres of topics hieroglyphics i just walked up a big ass hill and the other one is uh but i couldn't wait to say all this S hieroglyphics symbols and like writings and then we got the other one which are usually found in like temples i would say sometimes on rocks and then we got ki pictures which are find ev everywhere and I would say universal and we're going to get into this so we're going to talk about the pictures first because it was on my mind pictures are universal meaning let's just say from the point we went into a cave we seen someone drew a simple basic picture fundamental real basic a guy hunting or picking a fruit guy or woman they were stick figures we could have drew them <laughs> anybody could have drew them they weren't really artistic ability in the sense that they were being intellect with their artistic abilities they weren't making things complicated per se <laughs> like a lot of people like to do <laughs> so as we come to where we are we can we all go in we see this picture now i'm going to talk about universal consciousness consciousness for one second in energy the person or the people, whoever wrote in a cave with the picture, however long later, it could be years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, dec decades, hundreds of years, thousands of years, and so on. I wouldn't say over a thousand though. A th thousands of years are cutting it. I don't really believe in the millions of years, but I will say most of this video is in my opinion too. This video is a mostly opinion opinionated video, which I don't usually do these at all. You could say that, but I'm just giving the truth too. And I would say it's thousands of years ago when some things happened, maybe even a lot sooner than that. We're a lot about time, especially like BC and thousands of years and millions of years. The only thing that's out, there's no proof in a lot of that stuff. It's just hypothetical and you can't live hypotheticals in because then you'll be living a lot. <clears throat> so as we go on to say, the person in the cave draws a picture years later we see the picture we can see this now this is a direct correlation the person me let's say i drew a picture i have a thought in my head an image the world started with an image and this is where i'm getting at a picture a vision <clears throat> and a landscape whatever you go I have a vision in my head. I draw the picture. Someone finds it. Sees the picture. Real basic picture. Just like a caveman would draw. Now we're going to go to the other side. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. This is my problem with hieroglyphics. No one can read them. They're not a picture. They're a symbol. Someone made a language because we don't understand that language which is unnatural if you understand that it's man-made i don't like to use that that much but we can use that so that would make a lot of sense pictures are not man-made because they're usually a represent representative of something in the world world that someone's seen that's they were describing something through a picture now if the caveman drew a bunch of weird letters you'd be like i can't fucking read this because we adopted our own thing, which is mostly English. I use English, that's what I know how to use. And obviously there's other languages and a bunch of other things, but we all can understand pictures. Pretty plain and simple, it's kind of easy. Especially when it's stick figures. Everybody can, everybody probably draws stick figures because it's something natural and simplistic to do. Hieroglyphics on the other hand are unnatural and harder to do. Here are my things with hieroglyphics. It's not that I don't like them, but here, because these are written in stone. And this is where it gets back to, I actually thought of this after 
nothing's written in stone because I thought it would be a cliche to say. We can't, one, it's either they're hiding what these people know what these things say, which maybe a few people, they just can't tell nobody or don't want to tell nobody or don't care to tell nobody. Or they're lying and not telling anybody about these uh, scriptures, you know, like hieroglyphics, basically. stuff. And I, I looked up the definition of hieroglyphics, and it's basically ineligible writing. Chicken scratch. <laughs> so, which makes a lot of sense. So we're not supposed to read that. I can't go and read it. I've been taught whatever. Maybe it was a deceitful thing all along. Doesn't really matter because... The truth is always going to be with inside of you. And even if these things were written in stone, like how come, you know, we're not reading them. We don't know how to read them or people are lying to us about them, not telling us what they actually mean. So do we need them? We don't, you know, they've not, nothing really is written in stone getting back to it. Now pictures, we can translate pictures. <clears throat> I'm not saying there's not people out there because there may be some people out there who can translate you know, the hieroglyphics or the ineligible writing, the chicken scratch, that's fine. But I'm saying the common man could definitely decipher a picture between an eligible handwriting. So it's basically, it's just like, you know, an, an actual evidence digging up fossils and maybe mummies and tombs and just tools of evidence of past culture will give us more inclusion on that. Now, why am I saying all this? Because nothing is for certain. It's just like nothing is written in stone, not the Bible and none of that. And I realize there are no rules. You should not, you shouldn't follow anyone. That doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to anyone, but I just, I'm at the point where I don't really need to listen to anybody anymore because I'm living my own life and it's my best life that I could ever enjoy. Could there be better at stuff out there? Yes, but I can only pick one way or another. You know what I mean? It's like, go all or if things come then they come if they don't then they don't i'm still living my best life i'm going to continue to do it in every way possible and i'm always going to do that and life is always finding new things i've never really i don't like reading books and book reading books are pretty much unnatural to a degree you got to understand people who invented hieroglyphics or made that writing that was a system of writing we don't understand that system of writing because it's made up someone made up so that could have been usually i would say i know some of the hieroglyphics some of them have pictures and stuff but i'm talking basic essential pictures there's different there's a difference when you go into a freaking temple and they have all this elaborate stuff versus you go into like a cave somewhere and there's just a picture simple stick figure hunting picture that's all i need you don't need to show me all this elaborate stuff and I'm not saying that stuff's not useful or cool looking or has aesthetics, but to really think about it, it's kind of weird. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of spitting on that part, like just talking about it, bringing about. But this is what I, that's what I wanted to get across is nothing is for certain. And nothing is written in stone. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that's the funny part about it. <laughs> so... Don't take anything anybody says literal because it's all a joke. <laughs> People are always going to play jokes, scams, and games. Another thing I like to say is we're just living in a picture. This is just somebody's simulation or our simulation, however you want to treat it. It is. Life's like a video game. Life's like a movie. Gently, gently down the stream. <laughs> you know, it's just like uh, life is what we always play. That's not something to go over your heads with and think too hard about. One last thing I want to say, <clears throat> which is just, it's just the fact that <clears throat> eventually I'm going to, nature is our true being. I will say this, nothing wrong with technology. It's just that technology only goes so far and we already have the greatest technology, which is ourselves. You can't beat ourselves. And people like to go against nature or go against themselves. That's why they like to build technology, AIs, robots, things like emotions, emotionless, which is somewhat natural in degree to nature. But 
not like a robot <laughs> of course and obviously some of us got intelligence now and some of us may have evolved or some of us are smarter you know i'm not saying who or what but what i really want to get at is the closer you will never be home because i know this all my life you will never be home truly to your wild nature until you're actually living corresponded with nature however that pertains to you someone may have to go off the grid and be in nature surviving in nature to, for that some people might go work a nine to five in the city and feel that that's fine everyone's gonna get a different degree nature will always win that's why it always comes up out of the concrete and out of everything we built nature lasts forever and nature is the true nature follow, followed like Weston Price said even though I don't really like his stuff nature followed in the highest degree is a well like the best life you could ever live <laughs> and I should end the video right there which I'm going to <laughs> subscribe to the channel I meant to say earlier give me a like let me know your thoughts I'd love to hear them. <laughs> obviously I'm not judgmental <laughs> and what I meant by going deeper into nature is if you really want to connect and know the truth to the world then you'll go and live in nature then if there's any questions that you have bearing on your mind that you don't already know only nature is the true teacher and will teach you all <laughs> that's why i urge everyone to always go outside in fact i love being outside all the time i could live in nature by myself fantastically <laughs> i would enjoy it now there are things i would have to do to go do that and i'm not saying i don't enjoy my life now because i see what i'm doing you know so it's all about where you want to take it. You could just spend a month in nature. You could just go on a camping ship, a chip, trip, camping trip, chip. And everyone's going to have, there's a bug on the screen. There's a lot of mosquitoes back here. Everyone's going to have different ways how they want to connect with nature. I think we all can agree on that. And I'm going to end the video there. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys really like this videos. I know some do far to you guys, to y'all. Have a nice one. Peace.